So, to get a better image clarity, one request to the online students is, you go into a full screen, full screen, then uh, you can uh, have the better resolution of the image uh, without chat window. Because mostly uh, session is unidirectional until we finish the uh, teaching part. When we reach quiz part, open up the chat window, then you can appreciate uh, the images better. Huh? So, we welcome Dr. Sujata, students of Raipur, Kirti, Patna. I think Patna problem is solved with the voice. Huh? So, hopefully, right. <clears throat> now, doctor, continuing about medulla cut section, we have an inferior and medial vestibular nuclei of the eighth cranial nerves, which is very, very important. So, what did they receive basically? Linear information, linear acceleration information from utricle and saccule and the angular acceleration information of the semicircular canals will be ultimately rep reported to the vestibular nuclei. And what will they do? This information is important for whom? From the ear information went to, had gone to medulla. From medulla, the information will be sent to cerebellum because medulla has through inferior cerebellar pedicle connections with the cerebellum. And also this information creeps into the medial longitudinal fasciculus, which is uh, associated with the control of our eye movements between 3rd, 4th and 6th. That's the reason. So, this is typically, doctor, we have the uh, vestibular nuclei, we have the medial longitudinal fasciculus, which is basically connecting the three cranial nerve nuclei. And through the inferior cerebellar peduncle, medulla is connected to the cerebellum. So, this vestibular nuclei have a relationship with uh, both of them. That's how our eye movements and our balance is all regulated in uh, response to our information we are getting uh, about the balance from the uh, semicircular canals and utricle and saccule is what needs to be remembered. Then, we have an area of costrima. Another important structure in the medulla, typically in the floor of the fourth ventricle we have it. It is a classical example of a circumventricular organ without a blood brain barrier, which will be constantly sensing the chemical changes in pH, CO2, O2, all these levels in the blood will be sensed by the area of posthema in the floor of the fourth ventricle in the medulla. So, before we say goodbye to medulla, what do you see in the cut section, doctor, summarize in the, not the caudal medulla, rostral medulla, just before we are stepping into the pons. Inferior cerebellar peduncle, you understood what it is doing? Yes. We have a solitary tract and nuclei, you know, taste, it is very important. Then we have the rootlets of the vestibular nerve. And we have the rootlets of the glossopharyngeal which is coming out of it. Then we have one inferior olivary nucleus, a very important informer to the cerebellum as to what is happening in the medulla. Then we have the descending pyramidal tract. We have uh, a medial lemniscus, medial lemniscus. Then we have one spinal trigeminal tract bringing pain and temperature from the face, it's laterally. Then we have one olivocerebellar fibers which are taking the information of the inferior olivary nucleus to the cerebellum. Then we also have got uh, the inferior vestibular nucleus, the dorsal cochlear nucleus. They are all the part of the cut section of the medulla. So that brings us to the end of the story of one part of the, of the brainstem, medulla.